Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to do um, an Android backup using a ROM manager. And uh, this one guy actually asked me how to um, how to back up your um, back up his uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 and um, and I said I'll go ahead and do a, a video of it. Now I was going to do on my Acer um, Iconia Tab, but the problem is uh, it's not it's not exactly same as um, Samsung Galaxy Tab. So what I'm gonna do is actually use my phone because um, the ROM manager here and on Samsung Galaxy Tab it's uh, same. So what I'm gonna do, uh, you do need a micro SD card. So let's get started. Uh, let me unlock the device first. Okay, and. Um, if you don't have a ROM manager, go ahead and download the ROM manager. So my ROM manager is in this folder and I'm just gonna go ahead and start the ROM manager right there. And um, and if, it, if this is your first time, then what you wanna do is click on flash, um, clockwork mark recovery, and what it's gonna do is give you a device name um, so make sure what kind of device you have and it should list the name um, automatically it would give you a, a list of devices that actually supports so if you're using a Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 it should give you a device name probably something like GT um, GTP1 uh, 3113 probably like um, uh, model number of the device so make sure go ahead and check out the model number um, on your settings so if you go on settings it'll be same process in actually um, any Android tablet or phone so about phone and then if you just go it says model number here right there and in this case this is a virgin mobile phone um, LG Optimus V so it's a LG VM670 and that's the model number here so make sure they're like this and so if you have Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 uh, usually it'll be P31 GT P31003113 or something like that um, so what do you want to do again just go to ROM manager and and if you see it says backup current ROM I don't know if you can see that right there so it says backup current ROM and what you can do is just kind of click on that and it's going to ask you for a name now you can give a name whatever you want to do like a backup or something like that um, that would work and I'm just going to show you how to do it let's put demo um, today's date is 12 8 12, 8, 12, how about that? So I'm just gonna keep it here again. Um, Say, so, like I said, it is kinda hard to focus on, but I can zoom out a little bit. But what I did is just put demo 12, 8, 12, today's date basically, and hit done. And um, the keyboard should just go inside and just press OK. Now when you press OK, what it's going to do is automatically restart your phone, uh, go to uh, recovery mode, make sure you have a clockwork mod recovery. And um, yeah, it's just going to go to um, all the process here. It might take about a couple of minutes depending on how, what kind of device you have and stuff like that, how much stuff you have. It does, it just back, back up everything that you have, um, all the apps. Uh, all the data basically what kind of login you have uh, web browser all those kind of good stuff and um, it would back up on your SD card and what you can do is you can restore that by going into your recovery mode again uh, this is the one way to do it now again it's gonna take long time about I'd say on my particular device it might take uh, four to five four minutes or so but um, so I'm just gonna put this aside here and what we're gonna do is take a look at uh, recovery mode on the Acer Iconia Tab 2 um, I mean 
is Rikonia Tab uh, A500 and so let's get started so on here I don't have any ROM manager installed uh, I would like to go ahead and do using a ROM manager because it's much easier uh, you don't have to do anything on manually purpose um, and also you can restore your ROM using your ROM manager actually so that's also handy but um, again on this device Acer Iconia A500 what we're gonna do first uh, it's kinda different uh, than regular clockwork and you know all the devices might have different kind of stuff but the format is basically same so um, on this I don't have any um, what do you call uh, ROM manager installed I'm sorry and uh, if you can see a list of apps right there there is no ROM manager so what we're gonna do is go ahead and do it manually uh, so first of all turn it off your device turn off your device now this has been rooted and it does have access of recovery mode okay so and you do need that in order to um, actually do this kind of stuff let me just kind of back up a little bit like that okay so what you want to do on Acer Iconia A500 is um, there's a volume down button so you just press and hold that and um, power on your device and wait until you hear the you feel the vibration uh, keep and take your hand off the power button but keep holding your um, volume down button and if you keep holding that uh, you're gonna see the recovery mode now you can use this um, I don't know what kind of because there are a couple of uh, different um, recovery mode for this device actually so um, on my particular device as you can see I can use my touch right there which is much easier than I mean it's handy it's there so no problem and you can also do um, volume up and volume down to see um, to go up and down and uh, power button to actually select something and uh, same thing here you can just go up and down this is your back and this is your enter so basically uh, going into something alright so on here what you want to do is basically to um, back up all your stuff just go up here and it says backup and restore let me zoom in a little bit I don't know if you can see that that's what I'm trying to do uh, too much light but uh, right there uh, as you can see the fourth one it says backup and restore so just go on that um, hit enter again enter or um, the power button it doesn't matter so what I'm gonna do is just hit enter right there and now it's gonna ask you if you want to do um, okay um, the first one is if you want to do full backup full restore uh, advanced backup advanced uh, restore I would recommend just go ahead and do a full backup if you already uh, flashed uh, uh, you know new ROM or something like that just go ahead and do a backup and make sure before you do any kind of flash uh, any new ROM that you like trying to try out or something like that make sure this is the most important part make sure to back up your current ROM if it's working and if you are first time make sure to back up because that is the most important part because if you need to go if something wrong with with the with the ROM that you installed maybe Wi-Fi isn't working properly then you m might need to go back and you know go ahead and get the other ROM that is still working and then uh, so that way you don't have to worry about anything if you didn't back up you are in trouble and you have to go through all the process um, and find everything online that you can possibly find basically so that's that's kind of always a problem I did flash ROM on here uh, yesterday and you know first thing I did was back up my current ROM now the the ROM that I flashed wasn't um, wasn't uh, working properly I didn't like that much so what I did is just go back in my recovery mode and did full restore easy as that just do full restore and you get the current ROM back 
whatever you ROM back the ROM that you backed up. So um, you go to full backup. You press enter or again um, the power button. So enter and right there, as you can see, it start doing its processing. And what it's gonna do is actually back up in your SD card. Make sure you have SD card and don't 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 back up this ROM on your internal SD card uh, especially like this kind of device they do have like internal SD cards this one is 16 gig and if it asks for internal what's gonna happen is it if you flash the ROM and uh, at basically wipe out everything on that internal um, memory and then uh, if you try to go back well you don't have your stuff because it's already wiped out when you were doing your um, ROM or flashing a new ROM or something like that. So make sure uh, not to do those kind of stuff. SD card are good. Um, just restore on your SD card and if you can just back back up that ROM actually to your computer as well. So even um, you know if you by mistake or something delete your ROM uh, the, the older ROM from your um, SD card or something you still have that ROM um, on your computer and that is the important part and I do not even though if I like the new ROM that I flashed um, I still don't delete my older ROMs that I backed up because like I said you might need to go back and get something from there it's really easy just to rest full restore and go back and all those kind of stuff but keep the current ROM it's always nice to have that ROM ready to go now as you can see this device I was current doing this and uh, my Optimus V actually just restarted I didn't do anything it just automatically you know backed up my stuff and restarted so the ROM manager is if, if the ROM manager is working properly just thumbs up on this device I haven't even tried I haven't even installed ROM manager so um, Basically, I'm using this to uh, back up all the stuff. And I already backed up my uh, one ROM before here, but since I was gonna show you guys how to um, just kind of go ahead and back up again, um, well, I didn't. On this device, you can't you can name it. And if you if you do your manual style, then I believe usually you can't name your ROM. Um, but if you do it through um, ROM manager it's easier because you can just like usually what I do is just uh, instead of keeping some kind of date what I do is kind of type uh, before let's see ICS before ice cream sandwich uh, and the date so I'll know what exactly uh, going on um, you know because again I might have more than one ROM backed up I do on my Optimus V I'm been using it for over a year now and you know started out from uh, Froyo actually Android 2.2 originally and this one is right now running Android 4.0 so um, I still have that Froyo backup on here so like I said always keep the I mean it's it's not gonna eat up that much of memory and just get the biggest micro SD card um, like on this one I have 62 I mean 32 gig of uh, micro SD card and on this one I got 8 gigs of micro SD card so um, it doesn't hurt to get a bigger SD cards um, and doesn't cost that much nowadays so uh, it's better to stay um, up to date in my opinion and uh, you know 32 gig if it take 1 gig I mean who cares you know so right now it's currently backing up all the stuff and I'm almost running out of time um, as soon as it back up what I'll do is do uh, part 2 of this video and go ahead and show you how to uh, reboot your device and let you see where exactly your uh, ROM saved alright so uh, stay tuned for the uh, part 2 thank you for watching